All right, what's up, everybody? So, uh, Llama here, and I'm back with uh, MLB The Show. We are at Game 5 of the American League Divisional Series. Winner takes on the Red Sox. Uh, loser is eliminated from this little postseason mode here. And then after this postseason mode is finished, so I finished playing through all of this. I have everything recorded that needs to be um, recorded or not needs to be recorded. I don't want to give away the ending at all, so we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this. Or I don't even know what I'm saying here. I restarted this twice, so I'm looking to reset it again. But I recorded everything, so after I post all of these, I'm going to post a uh, franchise playthrough I just started. I was using the Giants, and I am doing uh, a fantasy draft on. So I played a few games for that, like four or five games in it, and then I recorded the fantasy draft. I tried to do live commentary over it, but it was like super boring. So I'll probably post it once I'm finished with uh, all posting all these videos. It's just... Uh, so I think the draft, I think I drafted the first like 20 players and then I just let the computer simulate for me. So we had a, we ended up getting a lot of hitters and stuff like that. Got a few good pitchers, but mainly focused on hitting and like fielding and stuff like that over uh, quality pitchers. So when I post that video, people can see the bullpen and stuff is a little bit lackluster. We, we've got enough stars to where I think uh, our hitting more than makes up for our crappier pitching in that. So uh, I think the video is like 10 or 11 minutes long, so we'll probably just... Uh, talk over that one or maybe uh, speed it up a little bit so everybody can see where the picks were and stuff like that but in this game we are in the uh, top of the third inning you can see we scored one run so far 3-1 is the count to Ibanez and I probably could be a little bit more patient here but I don't know I think I am okay I haven't watched this thing in a while so for whatever reason I thought I swung and missed at that um, I think I know the result of this play which um, maybe it's this one let's see yeah that one I swing and I hit it right back to the pitcher so Goes off his leg and they uh, throw him out at first there. I nearly got out somehow. I thought he struck out for whatever reason, but apparently I just grounded one right back to the pitcher. So there was that. And we're going to go to the uh, bottom of the third. We've got what, runners on first and second here, pitching with uh, CJ Wilson. Two outs. We get that one at second base, and that is good enough to uh, be the third out there. So we throw that to pull holes, and we're going to get out of a uh, little jam there. So yeah, I was watching. What did I watch? Uh, Painkiller already the other day. I watched a bunch of it. Um, I don't think all of it because it's like a four hour podcast via podcast or whatever. I usually always watch those. I never uh, listen to them since they put them up on iTunes really late. But I used to listen to a crap load of that. And then when they had Lefty on, I kind of stopped because he, I don't know, I just found him annoying for whatever reason. And their show might have got crappier. But uh, it's really good now. I've been listening to it. And they were talking about <clears throat> Louis C.K.'s new show, or not new show, his new stand up special. It was on his website. It was like five bucks. And they're like, it wasn't really that funny at all. I, I watched like half of it, I think, yesterday, and uh, or a few days ago, maybe. I don't think I watched it yesterday. I was watching football. But um, yeah, I watched a little bit of it, like uh, 30 minutes of the hour, and it just like, yeah, I was surprised how unfunny it was because it was like decent jokes, but from like Louis C.K., you kind of want somebody who's like, you're expecting like really quality material, not just like crap. Like Bill Burr had a new special out on Netflix, which it was really solid. It was good, but compared to his uh, previous ones, uh, it was like, couldn't really compare them I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say but they just it like wasn't in that range at all so it, like it would be good for anybody else but for somebody as good as Bill Burr it seemed uh not disappointing but like lower quality jokes and uh stuff he did in his previous specials which you see a lot of uh people do that the other one is uh Joe Rogan his uh I don't like his stand-up at all really I mean some of it's funny but I'm more a fan of his podcast and his stand-up you get a lot of dudes like that who are funny on uh radio like what's jim norton that dude's freaking hilarious the stand-up still solid it's not bad but he's way funnier on uh like radio and podcasts than he is um doing stand-up comedy so as you can tell i've got nothing to talk about here and i tried to do this video uh a few times i recorded it the other day and it kind of sucks so i decided not to post it so that's why i'm just talking about random crap because it's like a nine minute video and when i would just talk about the gameplay um and what was happening it was getting really repetitive so i guess i'll talk about the super bowl since i just read this there's a conspiracy that so if everyone saw the game they made that crazy catch where the dude like swatted it and got down so they uh had that and then i think it was lynch who ran it to the one and then they decided to throw it that little slant that got picked off that uh ultimately uh led to new england's win that was like the game winning play so um, there was some conspiracy stuff that was saying Pete Carroll was told that they should run the ball and he decided to uh, cut a little audible and said, no, I want Russell Wilson to throw a touchdown pass because if Lynch gets this touchdown, he's going to be our playoff or, or uh, Super Bowl MVP and stuff like that. And they'd rather have it go to uh, Wilson because I guess people find Lynch kind of like douchey and stuff like that since he doesn't talk to a media, the media at all. And when he does, he's kind of a douche about it. And then he's more, people find him like real thuggish, I guess, and they want someone 
like Russell Wilson, because as Reed Nitt said, he was like way more respectable, so they wanted him to uh, be the Super Bowl MVP. But I think the conspiracy is retarded just because, like I said, they ran at the play before, so it's like, I don't think, uh, why, why would they run at the play before if Lynch would I get in? He would end up getting the uh, MVP award anyway, so I don't think uh, they're going to make a call like that. And I don't think they had time to think about that. I just think they thought um, everyone expects us to run here. So we're going to throw it, and that was a, a stupid call, but you can understand it because it was, what, like 20 seconds left in the game. They had one timeout. It was second down when they threw it and got intercepted. So even if they run it and don't get in, they're going to have to call a timeout or hurry up and spike the ball, which is going to kill about 7 to 10 seconds off the clock, and then they're going to have to... Uh, They'd only have like 10 seconds left or whatever, so it'd be real risky to do that. But I, th I do think they should have ran. But the conspiracy thing is kind of stupid. I really don't get why uh, people are like, oh, just they don't like Lynch, so they're not going to give it to him. It's like, no, they're going to do whatever they can to win the game. It doesn't matter who the MVP was. Although uh, I thought Edelman should have got it instead of Tom Brady. Brady had four touchdowns, but he did throw two picks. He threw one a pick that was picked off in the end zone, if not the end zone, like the half yard line in the first quarter, which they had images of the uh, dude who. Uh, Picked that off on Reddit after he caught the ball and came down his arm. I'll see if I can find it and put it in the uh, info. They just said he had a broken arm. The thing was like snapped. Like it looked like it was just like a rubber arm and they just like the bone was like completely snapped in his forearm. It was pretty, uh, pretty gross. I think that's why they didn't show replays. You can always tell when an injury is bad because they're going to kind of try to stop showing replays. Like what was the uh, college basketball dude like a few years ago? His like kneecap or whatever is shin, the shin in his knee just like shot through the skin and you could see exposed bone like that was disgusting and they had to like try to stop showing replays of it and stuff because people were getting really sick which uh i don't know it'd be crazy to have an injury like that because that dude just like went down or whatever and then he's like oh my leg feels bad i think i broke it and you look down and see bones sticking out you'd have to be freaking the hell out but i guess uh the dude in the super bowl hopefully they could give him gave him some good uh anesthesia or whatever something to numb the pain like immediately following that because that's got to be one of the more horrific pains you can go through there was another thing too, it was so some other Seahawks player um, had a concussion, I think it was, so we had to get back to the locker room. And they're like, yeah, even if they, uh, if the Seahawks win the game, he can't come back out on the field because of uh, any NFL uh, safety protocol rules. So if they would have won the Super Bowl, the guy would have had to st stay in the locker room while everyone else celebrates because of the stupid uh, rules. You're not allowed to talk to media if you've been diagnosed with a concussion in game. It's like, how retarded is that? It's like, they could find you whatever amount of money they're going to at that point i just think that like that dude would just have not have gave a shit at all and decided to be like f this i'm coming out anyways if we win the game but that wasn't what happened and then uh yeah so this game is over like i said more in commentary but i just wanted to get this one finished we ended up losing who was who walked off josh reddick for them uh walked off so the new franchise one with the giants the fantasy uh draft will be up uh hopefully tomorrow i'll get the first video up so uh thanks for or maybe later in the day depends when i put this one up recording it monday night so um next video should be monday or tuesday at some time i don't even know what i'm saying so i'm gonna end this now just because i am uh stepping over my own words here i simulated the end the braves ended up winning well i guess i'll leave it in here the braves win the world series i don't know who they beat we'll see here uh some postseason once it does that and the braves defeated the a's so the a's did make it and they ended up losing to atlanta so uh thanks for watching